I don't like the packaging. I don't like that the contour and highlight don't have their own home. They're sharing a pan, which just kind of irks me. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my Battle of the Drugstore Contour Palettes video for you guys today. So I have four different palettes from the drugstore that I picked up recently, and these are all relatively new to the drugstore or reformulated, but most of them are new. And so I'm just gonna run through the different ones, kind of tell you the pros and cons that I see in each of these, and just kind of give you my overall review on each of them and tell you my favorites. So let's jump into it. So I'm gonna start off with my least favorite from the group. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Contour and highlighting palette and I have it in light 813 light so this is what it looks like um, it's I have several reasons that I this isn't bad but I just don't love it especially for the price this cost $12.99 at Walgreens so I don't like the price I don't like the packaging I don't like that the contour and highlight don't have their own home they're sharing a pan which just kind of irks me. So that's the first thing. But also just logistically, it's hard to get a brush in there because the pans are so kind of small and that it's at an angle. It's just a little bit awkward to use. But also the coloring on this is very light. They are buttery in texture, so that's a positive to this. They are buttery, they blend into the skin nicely. So if you can find um, a color option that you like and you can get past the kind of like packaging situation, you may really like this, but I think I would like this um, at a different price. So if it were a lower price, I don't think that I would be as not that thrilled with it because it's really not a bad product, it's just kind of a packaging fail, a little bit expensive, and it really does take a little bit of building, especially for this bronzer color. It takes some building to get it to this point. Not a bad palette, just not my favorite. And then I have these guys from Rimmel. I'm actually not sure of their exact name, but I think that they're called the Sculpting Kits, Blush Bronzer, something or other, but I think they're just Sculpting Kits. I don't know, something like that. So these were $6.99 from Walgreens, and I have all three shades. There is 001 Golden Sands. There is 002 Coral Glow. And then there is 003 Golden Bronze. So I'd actually initially just bought the first two and then I went back for this one. Um, I like the packaging on these. I think that they are really pretty to look at. I love that each little, each little product has their own home, but it's still all together. So I really do like that. So I think the packaging is really cute with the rose gold, it's pretty. Here are some swatches. So this one right here is 001 Golden Sands. This one is 002 Coral Glow. And then this one down here is 003 Golden Bronze. All really pretty, they swatch really nicely. You can just kind of compare the tones, you know, as far as which one you might prefer to get is all gonna depend on which kind of color tones do you like? Because this one is a little bit, um, 002 is a little bit more uh, cool tone the bronzer is. And then this one is more like a rich, almost like chocolatey sort of a bronzer. Whereas this one is a little bit more on the warm tone, slightly orangey side. So it really just depends on what you're looking for, but there are some great options in these. I do really like them. Um, negatives I would have to say is that they develop hard pan. Not all of them, but just like, look at that one. That's gross. Maybe it's because I'm swatching for like Instagram and videos and stuff. So it might be that, but I mean, my hands are clean, you know, so I don't know, just some products develop hard pan more than others, and these definitely seem to, but not all of them. It's just kind of like hit and miss there. So that would be a negative to them, but other than that, I think that they're really nice. Then we have this newly reformulated contouring palette from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and I got it in the shade Dolce de Leche. If you want to see a comparison between this one and the original one that was released, the original version, check out my What's New from Wet n Wild or New Wet n Wild Products type video, because I compare them there. But I really liked the original release of these, and I really do like this one too. Um, I didn't get the other one because it was darker, and the highlight was very yellow toned, and I just knew that one was not going to work for my skin tone so I just got this one but these have a really nice buttery texture they are powdery I mean when you use them they kick up a lot of product I don't know if you can see it there but I mean a lot of product is kicked up so they are powdery but I find that they blend into the skin just really really nicely I think they're easy to work with 
I love this highlight. It's so pretty for setting your under eyes. It's very brightening. The contour is, it's a little bit, it's definitely more warm toned, a lot more warm toned than the original releases were, but I still do like it. I think it's just a great color for, it's one of those shades that works for contouring, but also kind of warming up your complexion too. So I really love these. I don't know if I said the price, but they were $4.99 from Walgreens. So really affordable. I think these are awesome. They are great quality. They work really nicely. I wish there were more like options, you know, for more different skin tones and just, I wish that they had a more cool toned one because I love that the other ones were cooler toned, but they were very light. I even had to build them up and I'm really fair complected. So I just wish that they would add more to the line. That's the only thing that I would have to say negative about these, but that's not really even a negative. That's just, I like them so much. I wish there were more. And then lastly, I have the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit to show y'all. And I got it in the lighter color and I think it was 10 light medium, I think, but the name is not on there anymore because it was on the sticker. So the sticker is long gone, as is the name. <laughs> but I think it was 10 light medium. Um, I do really like the packaging of this. I think it's functional and nice. You know, it, it's sturdy feeling. Each of them, each of the products has their own home, which I really do like, so that's good. Um, they do feel a little bit like loose in their pan. Like not like they're gonna fall out, well maybe they will, but they're, they're sort of bobbing a little bit like a buoy in the water or something. They're just kind of, moving around a little bit. So I'm kind of washing them closely, but they seem okay. Um, one that I was looking at on the display really looked lifted. So I would say just be kind of aware of that, that they might be a little bit loose in their pan. I'm not sure. And then it comes with this brush where I'm like, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> it's so small and scratchy and just like this is not even functional. So this is useless, but the rest of the packaging is just fine. So here is this one swatch. So you can see the bronzer and the blush are kind of more of a satin matte finish. And then the highlighter just has this beautiful sheen to it. Oh my goodness, I love this palette. I think it's so great. Now it was $12.99 from Walgreens. So it is kind of up there in price a little bit but it is really nice quality in my opinion. Now, something to note, the bronzer is a very rosy toned bronzer. So it's almost like a blush bronzer hybrid. So if you don't like those kind of rosy toned bronzers, kind of pinky toned bronzers, you will probably not like this set, but I really do like that. So I think this is awesome. The texture on these is really nice. They blend so nicely into the skin. They wear really well throughout the day. This is what I'm wearing today. And this has just been the one that I find myself reaching for the most. Like, I like them, like several of, of the other ones that we've talked about, but this is the one that I'm reaching for the most. So I think that that says a lot. So I love it. Just that little side note about you have to like a rosy toned bronzer to like this one but I really love it. So my little roundup here, like I already mentioned, my least favorite is the Pro Contour from L'Oreal, mainly because of the price, but also the packaging situation. I do really like the Rimmel ones. I wish they didn't get the hard pan situation on some of them, but I think they're cute. I think they're little, they have a good price point. So I do think these are nice, but my overall favorites are the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and the Master Contour from Maybelline. I think these are awesome. Um, really, I don't know, if I could choose between the two of them, maybe this one because it's kind of an all-in-one. It's got the blush in there too, but I think that they're both great and this one has a better price point. So I do like that about this one. So really it's gonna come down to what are you looking for as far as you know color tones, do you want a blush included, price point, packaging, all those kind of things will factor into what your favorites will be, but this is just my, kind of my little roundup and which ones I'm loving. All right guys, so that wraps up my Battle of the Drugstore Contour Palettes video. So I hope that y'all really enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what some of your favorite contouring products are from the drugstore. I always love hearing your thoughts and suggestions. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.